Welcome to the Floral Design Institute video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and I love working in the floral world. I especially love creating fabulous bridal bouquets. You know you can too. It's fun, it's easy, it's simple. It may not look simple, but all you need to know are a few professional tips, tricks, and techniques, and you too can create beautiful bridal bouquets out of fresh cut roses. Begin with a straight-handled bridal bouquet holder. And I'm using a stand to support it as I work. And then approximately a dozen gorgeous roses. I'm using Black Magic. Their intense color is just fabulous. Now they've been prepared using the Chain of Life care and handling procedures. If you need more information on that, refer to our website, flowerschool.com. But you want them fully hydrated, open, and voluptuous before you begin designing. As you place your flowers, you want to cut them relatively short so that they'll be close to the holder. You don't want them to be extended way out and be oversized when complete. So just a couple of inches and then insert it right at the base and continue that a couple of inches in a triangle format. If you've got a bad petal, remove it and again so that you get a triangle begun of beautiful roses. Then repeat that. And everything you do, you're going to continue in a triangle format. Always about two inches, coming in right down at the bottom. And again. And again. Now you may be surprised that I have started at the bottom you'll find it always works better if you begin at the bottom and then work your way up. You know, a tendency is to place a flower right in the center first thing. I don't like to do that. I do my six at the bottom, two groups of three, and then go back and do three more in a mid-level. Now, depending on your roses, you might stop right there with nine, or you might go ahead and use the rest of yours. A lot depends on how full your roses are and the placement. I'm going to go ahead, I've got a few holes, I've got a hole right here, and add some more roses in. Tucking them down low, just to finish filling in wherever there's a gap until I get total coverage in a luxurious rose bouquet. Once the front is just the way you want it, you want to turn it over and conceal the mechanics in your back. Just taking bits of foliage and inserting it in the back holes to hide the stems, coming it all the way around. Now of course you could conceal all the white plastic as well using different backing techniques. That's another video. You'll have to check out our website for that one. To ensure that your finished bouquet stays in place and none of the roses fall out, you want to use one of the commercial floral stem locks. They come under different brands, but it's a spray glue that comes with this little straw, and you just set it down against the foam and then spray. And it puts a liquid glue right on the surface that helps create a netting to hold all your flowers right in place. What an elegant bridal bouquet. You know, if you enjoyed this, we have more videos on our website, flowerschool.com. If you need floral supplies or floral information, or if you want to explore the opportunities in a career in floral design, check out the website, flowerschool.com. Join me there and do something you love.